All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about bouncing back after you have that first business failure. A lot of you think it's time to pack it in and quit because you didn't pass the test. You didn't become the successful business owner that you wanted to become, so you're saying, hey, I might as well quit and go and get a job. I don't necessarily agree with that idea, and the reason for that is because most times your first business will fail. And the reason is because you don't understand business ownership. You don't know how to own and operate a business just yet. You have not been doing that. So your first time out, it's gonna be hard, gonna be tough, and you might more than likely fail in that business. But the good thing about that is you learn so much from mistakes, you learn so much from failure. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is bouncing back after you have that first business failure. You see, if you start a trucking business or you start any other business that requires you to spend a lot of money, that means that you're very likely to hold on and keep holding on well past the time you should. You've already noticed that this business is not for you. You're saying that, man, I cannot you know, move this business forward. This is not the type of business that I can see myself running for an extended period of time. But because you've invested 50 or $100,000 into the business, you're saying, hey, I gotta hold on because I don't wanna lose my investment, right? That's why it makes sense to start off in a business that is not as expensive to start because it's likely that business won't make it. You can use that business to learn what you need to learn and then on that second or third go around, you have the experience, you have the know-how in your corner and now you can succeed with that business. Now here's the thing, I'm not talking about just going out and starting an LLC and calling yourself the CEO. A lot of people start LLCs, but it's not a whole lot to learn from starting an LLC, right? What I'm talking about is building a business, going through that process, laying out your strategy, figuring out what works, what does not work, right? You'll see that as you move through the process. You'll know to do less of what does not work and more of what is working. You'll take a look at your sales process, how you engage customers and the results that you're getting from that process. There's so much to learn in engaging customers. That is the main thing in any business, getting people to do business with you. And you have to figure out the best way for you to do that. And when I say the best way, the best way is the way that renders the best results, the way that gets you the most customers, get you the most engagement, right? Now, I've had the good fortune of building three businesses prior to Alliance Logistics. And although those businesses didn't do nearly as well as Alliance Logistics, I was still able to learn so much from those startups. Because when you start a business, you, it's like starting off in the middle of nowhere and you gotta figure out how to get from point A to point B. And as you're doing that, you're learning from the different things that have happened, the things that you're making mistakes at, you're learning so much from those different experiences. And that is what I'm talking about when I'm saying taking those experiences into the next venture. Because you've done it now, and you've gotten a feel for it, you know how it goes, when you start doing it again in another business, oh, you say, oh, I'm familiar with that. I know I need to do this because if I don't, I might not get the results that I want, right? I'm not saying that you should be resigned to the notion that your business will fail. I'm not at all saying that. I'm not at saying come into a business with the idea in the back of your mind that you're going to fail. I am saying if you happen to fail in your first venture, understand that that's pretty normal and have the intestinal fortitude, that strength, that courage to be willing to say, you know what, just because the first business failed does not mean that I'm not gonna give it a try again. And then I want you to look at the things that caused you to fail in that first venture because we don't wanna keep doing the same things because we'll keep getting the same results. One of the things that I look at that causes the most problems for new business owners, causes them not to be able to get their business going in the right direction is that they can't spend the time on it that they need to spend on it. One thing that you will realize when you get started in a business is that what it needs more than anything else is your time your energy, your effort that you're putting into that business to move it forward, 
It won't do it on its own. All businesses, especially new businesses, need a lot of care, a lot of nurturing, a lot of attention, and you have to give it to it. What happens most times is we're trying to split time between the job and the business. And what that usually means is that the job, because it's you know, bringing in the money, it gets more of our time. So the business fails because we're not putting enough time into it. The next thing that I want you to take a look at that causes you to have to start over, causes you to fail in the beginning is overhead spending too much money on the business, right? And you're pulling that money from your personal income and you're saying to yourself now, man, I've spent so much money, I'm not able to take care of my personal bills. I'm putting too much money into the business and the business is not making money. The business is not able to take care of its own bills. That usually comes because number one, you're not making money and number two, you have too much overhead. Right. So it makes sense to come into a business that does not have a whole lot of expenses that you have to pay because the more expenses you're paying, the more you're going to be putting out, putting out on the business, the less that you have to put in to the profit side of the house. Now, the third thing that I want to discuss that causes people to have to start over, causes you have to bounce back is the fact that a lot of people don't like at all what they're doing. And imagine that if you're doing something that you don't like, you're unequally yoked with a thing, then it's very likely that you won't be successful in it, right? It's going to be hard for you to make money in something that you don't really like. It's going to be hard for you to get up and do something every day that you really hate doing, right? That's what happens sometimes when you come into a business that's not what you do, not the thing that you like doing. For example, I started a trucking business, right? And I'm not a trucker. I don't care about trucking. I'm not the type of person that knows anything about being a mechanic. I don't like driving. I don't like the idea of being in a truck. So it just didn't make sense for me to buy a truck. I did it anyway because I was uninformed. I was just looking for something to get started in, but it didn't last. It didn't last the test of time because it wasn't what I like doing. Right. I think it's important to identify something that you have an enjoyment for. Now, you don't have to be passionate. You don't have to love what it is that you do. But I do think that you have to have some type of liking for what it is that you're doing. That way you can put more of yourself into it and it's not a pain for you to do that. Personally, I think a business is very much like a marriage. You go through trials and tribulations in a marriage. You go through those same challenges in a business. The question is, can you withstand the test of time. The longer you're doing something, the longer you're in a business, the better chance you have at making it successful. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn more about the freight broker business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It gives you an opportunity to sign up for my five video series. It's titled how the load movement process works. Check the description box for that link. Also, if you're interested in learning more about how we go out and find customers, find those shippers that we work with, I'll leave you a free video right here. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you all the way at the top of the mountain because the bottom is much too crowded.